All right, what's up, YouTube? So, I got some interesting findings. First of all, I never did show y'all these totes that had my... This one had red sorrel and uh, lettuce. I'm actually surprised that that's not dead. And if you look close, y'all will see my little red vein sorrel babies. They not dead either. Still need to put holes in that. That's going to be some lovely plant juice. When I put holes in that, and ooh, that's going to feed some trees. And then this was the lettuce that was bigger. The tops did get burned. Well, you know, like frostbite from the snow. But, and so did the green uh, sorrel. But uh, it didn't kill it. But that's not really what I wanted to show y'all. So I was out here cleaning up my frost cloth that I pulled off the trees. Because the day I uncovered stuff, I just uncovered things. Look who's coming. Kenny Benny? Sweetheart, you're getting worse than Felix. Oh, God. Anyway, so I was out here uh, draping. There's no specific reason. I just draped that there so that it can dry. It's still wet. And I was getting ready to pick up this one and drape it over this bin here just so it could dry. Because it's, it's 70 degrees a day. It's really sunny. That's going to dry really quick. Let me see if y'all can see this. Just as I'm filming. Y'all see this? Two peas and Felix. What are y'all looking for over there? Felix? Two peas, put your head back down. Lord, this is what I have to deal with. Animal Kingdom. So, like I said, I'm getting ready to drape that because that's wet too. Because if y'all see, it's a little bit of ice right there that hasn't melted. There's a, just a few places where ice was covered with something and it hadn't melted. And I looked and I saw bees. This, the top this top here was on there just like how that one is and i saw the bees like buzzing around the top and i'm like okay what are they doing what like why are they trying to get in there i thought it, the yellow was attracting them and then i some said take the top off now let me show y'all this y'all see them little red things on the ground those are all uh craisins or dried cranberries Somebody gave, oh, oh, you got shocked. Somebody gave me some um, dried cranberries. And when I was getting ready to pour them in this compost bin, some fell and hit the ground. And I saw a few bees around that. And then I was like, okay, what's really going on? So I opened this up. And can y'all, let me see if y'all can see just, I've come a little closer so they really not. But y'all see how many bees is flying? And then when you, I mean, you can hear them buzzing. I hope they don't sting my ass. I'm going to be hollering and running. I'm trying to be calm. But y'all see how many is in there? And I can hear them buzzing. So, y'all, apparently they eat craisins. Now, keep in mind, there's no flowers in my garden right now. But that's mainly what the bees are on. Because y'all see that little concentration of bees right there? They're really like on the craisins. So, look at Kenny laying amongst the bees. Kenny's a bee whisperer. I cannot with these cats. So, I see them around this one too. Okay, yeah. This one has some craisins in it as well. So, I must have split trying not to run and scream because they'll probably sting my ass um and i know this looks gross in here but y'all this is a compost bin it's a it's this where my food scraps go so deal with it um but y'all see that bees apparently like craisins they don't like bread though but um but this gives me a fabulous idea so i did not know this once again let nature do its thing. Come out here, observe nature. You'll be surprised at what you find. And not only this, this is right around my fruit trees. Now, my fruit trees are not blooming right now. But later on, they will be. But let me tell y'all this. Um, the next little batch of livestock, I believe, is going to be bees. And But I don't want to pay for no hive, y'all. I don't want to pay for no hive. Call me cheap. Call me whatever. Are you down there making bread as the bees are? flying around you 
Y'all know how they do that little kneading like they kneading dough. I call it making bread. He was kneading with his little feet. But anyway, he is really just comfortable amongst these bees. Like, he is really, like, not studying the bees. <laughs> but anyway, um, I want to get into bees. And I, but I don't pay for I ain't, I'm sorry. The hive costs, in, well, you can make your hive. I'm going to be real with y'all. Sometimes you have to um, mitigate your time. And I'm going to be real with you. I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to building stuff. I don't want to build no hive because it'll take me three years to build it. Just being real with you. I, I just, I have this malfunction to where I just, I can't just slap some stuff together. Like I'll be building a bee mansion instead of a hive. So, what I want to do, y'all, is buy the hive, but I want to, like, capture some bees. You know, like a, like a swarm or something. And I feel like if I give them a home and I attract them in some fashion, but I didn't know how I was going to attract them. I said I was going to look on YouTube. Okay, okay. I'm getting back. They're getting close to me trying to land on me. All right. I look, I've been stung by a bee once at a football game, and it's not pleasant. Anyway, um, I didn't know how I was going to track the bees. And I was going to watch a video to see how to go about doing that. But apparently I found it. Crazins. Who would have thunk? And that's a whole lot cheaper than buying some bees. Now, if, if, if attracting them don't work, I'm going to be forced to buy some. But I'm going to try some things first. Crazy's a whole lot cheaper. But I'm so happy to see all the little bees. Okay, okay. They flying in my face. It's, it's so nice to see them and hear them buzzing. And they're eating. I guess they're eating. I don't know what they're doing. But see, y'all taking stuff from my worm bin and y'all gonna take it elsewhere. I don't know where the hive is to get the honey. Y'all need to take me back to the hive. One of y'all escort me. Fly real slow. Ain't nobody. They don't want to escort me back to the hive. So, that's the most bees I've ever seen in my garden, y'all. And I just had to bring y'all there. Because I found that to be so fascinating. Like, what's really going on? Oh, and somebody wanted a mushroom update. So, when the, when the freeze was on, uh, I did not come back here and fool with these mushrooms at all. Y'all see that little bit of snow? Them leaves is insulating it, keeping it from melting. There's probably some on this side too. Yep, a whole lot of it on this side in the shade. So y'all can see how much snow we got, kind of. It's some, it's melted some. But can y'all see that? That's like, it's almost, it's almost a foot. It's not quite a foot. It's probably like eight, nine inches of snow. So, but, oh, here comes Kenny. So, in the woodshed. Oh, my ear. So I came in here and these mushrooms have grown. These are the blue oysters. Um, and I didn't see anything else. I think the logs are giving up on me. I've harvested on them a few times. Um, but it's all good because once those once those logs stop, I'm going to, um, like, once I cut those off, I'm probably pretty much going to show y'all how to inoculate, um, some straw. Oh, you gonna help me? You always say you gonna help me, and then I, I sign your paycheck, and then you gonna break for six hours. And go play with bees, apparently. Anyway, um... You know, you can't tell these cats nothing right now. The neighbor fed them chicken salad yesterday. Lord. Uh, if I'm not spoiling them, somebody else is spoiling them. Stop stalking me. Stop. Don't walk faster than me. Stop walking faster than me. Anyway. um, Yeah, y'all. So, I wanted to show y'all that. Let me see. We had nine minutes. 37 seconds i'm about to um cut this video and i'm gonna open the greenhouse because i hadn't opened the greenhouse since since it uh the the snow quit and stuff um i need to check the greenhouse see what's i think every i think most stuff is okay i think i lost the tomato sorry um 
making some sun tea. Got four pictures of that going. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you that because I found that to be so interesting. But if it's any beekeepers out there, beekeepers that know what they're doing, please um, let me know if y'all think that's a viable way to attract some bees to a hive. I think it is because there's a lot of them over there and it's winter. They're probably hungry. So, by the way, I didn't show y'all these, but I did uncover these. Look. Hey, baby love. I'm surprised you didn't scream. He usually walks up to me and meows really loud and really long. Chrissy? Mm, you're going to bathe? Okay. Well, I uncovered these. These peas look the worst. Um, this spot gets the hottest heat, and in the wintertime, it gets the worst of the cold as well. So, this is kind of a extreme spot. So, I kind of have to plant tough stuff here, or things that I want to become really tough. Um, I don't know about any of these cuttings, like the coleus and stuff. I got a feeling that'll come back from the roots. That's like mint. Well, it's in the mint family, so I'm thinking that's like a weed. If it don't come back, I don't care, because I can't eat it anyway. Um, the buds on all of these, except for one, looks pretty good. All these cuttings. You can see one I'm trying to butt out over there. That one's trying to butt out. Kenny, I mean, Chrissy. Why is Chris getting in the thing with the sweet potato? He go bust his bubble. Because uh -huh, I need to know what you, why you in here with the sweet potatoes. Is you just laying down? This cat always doing something. She's always doing something crazy. Look at him, y'all. Look at him. In here with the last of my sweet potatoes. What you are, Do you come in here and sit down and take naps? Lord. Ain't nobody got time for you and your avant-garde napping situation. Anyway. As long as he ain't peeing on him. Uh, anyway. I don't know about these cuttings. I know they all all the wood was still green before the freeze. I don't know about after. Um, these don't look good either. I'm sure my pepper will come back. Um, but I, I am pretty sure all this out here is now dead. If all this hadn't gone through all that four degrees, all this stuff out here, it wouldn't have been dead because it was still green. Um, this plant had gotten a lot more hardy in the cold. I see one branch that has green on it, but but yeah. I ain't gonna hold y'all up though. I'm finna get the get the um seed starting. Uh my uh I cut a lot of this stuff. A lot of this not so hot stuff. I need to cut some more stuff. Y'all see all this stuff blowing in the wind? It's just flappy and dangly. I need to cut all this stuff too. Two piece make too much noise. You really do. Is there any way I could take his crow out? These are looking really good. These are the best Romanesco broccoli that I've ever grown, quite frankly, because I've tried them like four times. And um, that was a good plant. We'll plant you back. You must have been a late bloomer. You needed some ice in order to germinate. But, um, yeah. This Romanesco broccoli looks pretty good. I think it's gonna be some halfway decent stuff. So, um, yeah. Anyway, sprouting broccoli bounced right back. All this stuff pretty much bounced right back. Lettuce. So, yeah. Yeah, so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do the seed starting video. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.